Greetings to another video. Today, oh, don't hate me, but I was gonna do, I say I was gonna do, a giveaway for the end of the year, it's Christmas, just as a way of saying thank you to you lot for just being so supportive, watching my videos, liking them, commenting on them, sending me just lovely messages and basically facilitating this for me being a job. So as a thank you, I wanted to do that. However, I was thinking more about it and don't hate me, but I'm not gonna do a giveaway. I probably, I will do one like next year at some point because I thought if we've all got bikes and we're all riding, then I think we're pretty privileged and lucky already. And so I want to do something to, I don't know, just try and do a little bit of good. And obviously this is only possible with your amazing support. So I'm gonna head off now, I'm gonna get my coat and stuff on and head out into the, it's snowy and icy today. So yeah, come with me and hopefully be able to do a little bit of good. And this is all possible because of you lovely lot. So my thank you is this. So, okay, let's go. <laughs> it is so cold, but I just wanted to add another little thing that was just Oh, it just made me just so happy the other day. So basically it was like late, I say late, it was just dark. I was on my way out in my van. It was fully iced over and I thought I had a de-icer and a scraper in the van and I think I must have taken it out in summer. Anyway, oh actually I think it's up there anyway. Um, I was rushing around and my neighbour was in his car and I, was, I went over to him and I was just like, oh, have you got a scraper by any chance? He's like, oh, I've not. He said, but let me run in and get you like, um, like a hot water bottle and you can like rub that over the screen and it will like um, de-ice it. And I was like, oh, okay, no worries, thank you so much. So I'm like um, just trying to find something to scrape it off. And I found like a, a blueberry punnet thing. So I was like, try to scrape it off with that. Eventually I got it off. Anyway, long story short, I went back in. And I was like, oh, I managed to saw it. Thank you so much. Anyway, then when I got back, it was pretty late. And there was like, a, I'll show it you in a minute, but it was like a little box like outside my door with a little card in it and it, it got me like, a, it'd been to the shop and bought me like a scraper and like two things of de-ice and I was like, that is just the nicest thing. So I just think if you can do anything like nice, just just anything, oh, it honestly just made my day. I was like, that is so, so thoughtful. Let me just show you the box now. And that's just really sweet. It got me like a little card and then like a scraper and some de-icer. If you could do something nice for somebody else today, then do it. Also, one little thing that I do, um, and everyone can do this, is you know when you get like a delivery or something, and every single time I've asked this, they're all like, you are the only person to ever offer that. I always ask if they need any water or any hot water, because I think if you're in the van all day, just delivering stuff, and you run out of water, you can't got nowhere to go. I think it's because I spent so long, years ago as a journalist, like parked up at like different locations, and you just run out of water, so yeah, that's a nice little thing you can do. Um, offer your delivery driver some water or hot water. Anyway, right, I, I need to go. I love this song so much. Come with me. I got Buffalo 66 on DVD. Does anybody else do that when they have a song on the radio that they really like? Oh my God, this is even better. Look away in a photograph. Oh my God, I love this song so much. When they got home and then they've got a song on the radio that they like, they just stay in the car and listen to it. Anyway, I'm going to go because I want to sing to this and drive. I've got my trolley full of stuff and I'm gonna go and donate it now to one of the Trussell Trust food banks, actually the one in um, the Middleton Arndale, which is the Lighthouse Project. But I just love the stuff that Trussell Trust do. I don't know whether you know about them, but basically it's a charity that like has nationwide, I think it's about 100, I think they run 120 different food banks that provide emergency support and emergency food supplies for people um, who need it. And yeah, I did a lot of work with them when I was a journalist and saw like firsthand like interviewed people that were actually using the food banks and how important it is. Like when you take your food in well take the food into your local food bank, it's given to people in your local area. And yeah, run by volunteers, like it's just an amazing charity. I'll leave a link to it below if you want to go and have a look into it. But actually I think it was from 2019 to 2020, the uptake of people needing emergency support went up like 18%. And it's since gone up from that. So it's just, 
it's mad and I think like obviously at the minute like the cost of living and everything's going up it's just a tough time I think with Christmas and stuff coming up I hate when people do things for charity and then like put it all on social media I just find it a bit gross and I'm I'm putting this on social media but I've not done this or basically I've done it is facilitate pushing the trolley over and dropping the stuff off like you've been able to do this this is not about me this is about you and you supporting um yeah and being able being able to let me do this so thank you so much to you yeah but yeah I just hope I hope it doesn't come across like because I really don't like when people do that like if you've got to do something for charity do it without having to like post it everywhere but yeah I'm, I'm one of those people but again this is not me doing it this is you doing it so this is my thank you to you for just being so kind to me look at the amount of stuff that's there like that is an insane amount so thank you thank you thank you so much that is gonna help so many people I'm just so grateful so thank you a million a million and one times god I can't pull it out <laughs> I can't even push this, I'm not going to fit through there. I'm on a little hill and it's rolling away. Basically I've been in and they were just so, so grateful. So thank you. And I keep saying thank you, but honestly, thank you so much. Like you've done a really good thing today and I just really appreciate it. And I think especially like seeing that and speaking to the volunteer, like the, the woman that, the, that I was speaking to, the volunteer in there, she was just saying that like this year how how bad it's got and she's like every morning there there's a massive queue of people waiting to go in and it's just a mess isn't it and then it makes you kind of reflect on your own like circumstances and just it just makes me realize like how lucky i am and that there's people that really need help and like it's just so shit that it's just this situation and i feel like a lot of people and that I was speaking to, and like, and, th and I, that I spoke to when I did stuff as a journalist, that like they just find themselves in like really difficult circumstances, and sometimes there's nothing else that they can do about it. They just find themselves in a tough spot, and yeah. So if you're able to ride your bike, if you're able to like go and buy whatever you want from the supermarket, like you are incredibly lucky today, and just just be thankful, just be grateful, and it just yeah. So I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna do that every month, and just to try and help and I think that's I think sometimes like now because I'm not from here like I'm not from Manchester I feel like the sense of like community sometimes is like lost especially in cities and like this just shows like when I was in there there were three other people that came in just to drop some bags off and you just like god it's just it make, makes that like community aspect just so important and yeah I want to be able to to help more I guess and so I'm going to leave a link to the Trust Trust website below because that's in the if you're in the UK um and I'm sure there are alternative ones um if you're in like America or Canada or somewhere else in Europe um but yeah I'll have a look for some of those and thank you again for enabling me to be able to do that so yeah feel feel good that you've done something good today and yeah if you want to help anymore all the links will be below and yeah i will see you all next video